Morning everyone, uh, as Martin was saying, we're here in Charleville GA Clubhouse and we're here with one of the elder statesmen of uh, Charleville and Charleville GA, Mr Kevin Owens. Hi Kevin. How are you? Good morning to you. Ke uh, Kevin, I suppose you've been involved with Charleville GA for many, many a year. Huh? Um, could you uh, remember where, like, when you first started? And I could actually. Uh, yeah. I, I was thinking during the week in preparation for this and uh, the first match that I can remember that I was at was in 1947, when, which was the uh, the county final, the intermediate county final against Newtown. Right. Diddy Fisher was a great friend of mine yeah. here and he says, I'll take you to the match <laughs> and I'll look after yeah. you. I so won't ask you what age you were now, but uh, I can kind of take a guess. Well, you were a, 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 young, a young lad. I was only 13 that 13, time, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, I, I can remember the, the match well and then being so excited when they won. And yeah. we, I knew all the names of the players from the previous year that they had won the, they had won the, co the yeah. intermediate again in '46. Right. And uh, Con, Con Cagney in goal and Billy Dillon and yeah. Dano and Dennis Coughlin and Davy Murphy. Mick Tool and uh, all yeah. many of them, like you yeah. know, and many names that I suppose that have still carried on into this day. When oh. you mentioned Con Cagney there as well. Oh, that's know. right. Yeah. Oh, that is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ca you know, the generations have I come oh. on along since. Yeah, that's yeah. quite true. Yeah, Cags yeah. Would, would, would the present Cags, uh, <laughs> the as is known, that was his grandfather. The yeah, goalie was his was grandfather. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. Um, at that stage in Kevin, of course, there would, there would have been no underage hurling at that stage or such. No, there? no, there no. wasn't, no. no. And we, I didn't really then start until we had a, uh, we had a kind of a number of juvenile games that weren't, you know, we yeah. weren't very successful. But Dano decided that he'd, he'd put together a team yeah. for the minors championship. Right. And in 1952... We won the North Cork right. Championship for right. uh, after the lapse of a number of years. Yeah. And uh, the funny thing about it is that there was 22 on the panel, and I was thinking during the week that there's only three of that panel alive. Uh, David Bryan, yeah. uh, Dermot Morney, who was living in Australia, yeah, and yeah. myself. Dermot, uh, yeah, myself, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we had, you know, it, it was a very good team. And actually, uh, uh, an interesting one is that Tony Murphy, who taught in the school here for yeah, a long number yeah. of years, he was a great forward at that time. Yeah. But when he went to, to uh, college in Cork then, he was a goalie, yeah. and he was a, a tremendous goalie. Yeah, yeah. They got to a, a couple of county finals in that, and right. one, but uh, like he's, play, he's play one of the fellas. Mm? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, you know, it was, it was quite then for... Uh, when 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 Charleville won the intermediate, they had to go up senior. Yeah. And uh, they, they were, quite, you know, there wasn't anything great for a number of years, but then... Suddenly, all, all out of the blue, they beat Blackrock above in, in both event in the first round of the championship, yeah. and got to the county final. And Dan Flynn was 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 you know, he was, know, he was, he was yeah, yeah, yeah. and he used to play. He was known as Galleon, and he used to play with Galway. <laughs> and they brought him on for the for, and he he had a great game. Yeah. But ba the Bars beat him in 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 the semi final yeah, of the county, yeah, 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 senior yeah. county. <laughs> But it was very hard. I mean, for a for a country team to to try play senior at oh, that stage, oh with transport and trying to get up and on. I mean, you were only the Cork teams you were playing. Oh, it was yeah. yeah. It was very difficult. Yeah. yeah. So um, t things were quite in until until uh, fifty eight, mm -hmm. when when we got to the uh, the intermediate final again, and mm -hmm. we were playing Glen Rovers. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, uh, uh, the club were very nice. Uh, the remaining six people who were f still alive yeah. were invited here f uh, a few years ago yeah. and presented with replicas yeah. of that. Yeah. And uh, I, 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 I'll tell you the, the six names of, of there was um, Billy Galligan yeah. and um, Mick Martell, yeah. Jackie Hanley, yeah. Davy Ryan. Um, Noel Copley and myself. Yeah. They were the, the, the remaining six. The remaining six yeah. Yeah. Your own, own playing career will say, where did you play yourself or where did you prefer to play? Uh, I was playing centre back on the minor team yeah. and then uh, when, when uh, we got up into major, Dan was centre back and I was on, on his right. And you were on the right. Yeah, team, and uh, yeah. You know, we had a f yeah. few great games. Yeah, like yeah. In that Any memorable game stands out for you, I suppose, a favourite game or a. Jesus, you were deadly that day. But <laughs> is there any, <laughs> not, any, any, any not particularly, no. I, I was, you know. You were just very good every uh, game. <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not really, not really. 
just for the ordinary yeah, every yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, you still love the Hurland? You don't oh, love should I? Yeah. I mean, uh, we've we've had a marvelous ten years yeah. really following the the team there. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Do, oh, it was uh, all the all the, the games and that. Yeah. But, but when 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 they weren't going so well there, we used to follow Newtown. Yeah. And uh, we got, I know that doesn't sound good, but no, 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 no. We, uh, one of the childhood games, and I was in, in the dressing room after I'm one of one of uh, you know the, the, the smart comments again. Yeah. You're in the wrong dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know the the, yeah. the last number of years were marvelous, yeah. marvelous. In any sport, like you mentioned. A local rivalry, whatever, has to drive on another team. Oh, yeah, it. that's quite true, yeah. yeah. And yeah. The, like, the, if the young fellas see the older fellas doing better in the parish or the town, it drives them on to more training and to get better as well. Oh, so that's, that's it, yeah. You know, it, um, you know, I suppose the success of other teams around has driven Charleville on to the oh, heights they are now. Like. St- oh, tremendously, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, we're looking forward to, to them doing well this yeah, year yeah, again. Yeah, I know yeah. they have a tough draw now yeah, with yeah, the yeah. three teams that they're yeah. against, but... Yeah. We're hopeful that yeah. they'll do well again this yeah. year. Um, I know I just mentioned there, um, your own brother uh, just passed away recently, and he, yes. he played with Charlotte as well. Oh, he did, yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. He did both hurling and football, yeah. yeah. And uh, and he was all, no, no matter, he's gone from Charlotte a long time, but yeah. he never, ever missed a match. Yeah, right. He'd ring me up and say, I, I see they're playing in, yeah, in yeah. Park Arena or Park yeah, Cleveland, yeah, and, yeah. and he, he'd be there. He'd be there, he'd he'd fight, he kept following. Oh, no, he did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right up to the end, yeah. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Any final comments or any, any anything else to say or no? No, only just uh, to wish the club uh, yeah. uh, every success yeah. going on because they are a more successful yeah. club yeah. and yeah. always were. Yeah, yeah. And it's great for the town to have a successful club. As you Ma- say, it's marvellous for, for the, the town, way, the yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Camaraderie community around. It does, really, yeah. 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 Well, Kevin, thanks very much. Thank you thank very you. much. Thank right, you. Right, right lads, uh, we're joined by members of the Charleville Camogie uh, management and players, uh, Mark, Fiona and uh, Laura. Right. How are you? Good morning. Morning. How Hi, are you? Laura. Good. Um, Mark, I suppose we'll just kind of get from, from your end of it first. Um, a great year last year for you. Yeah, a brilliant year. Um, there was a long time coming now. The girls were trying for a long time to get out of junior, and they finally done it last year. Yeah, yeah. And looking at some of the games, we'll say there were some very close, tight games, even right up to the final. Oh, there was, all yeah. year. But like, this, like the boys' side of it, junior is probably the hardest grade to get out of. So we knew that down through the previous years. And last year, there was plenty of days where it wasn't going our way, but the girls found a way to get over the line. Yeah, did they get out? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Fiona, from, you, from your own perspective, I suppose it must be a great achievement for yourself. Oh yeah, it's great. We were waiting for years to get out of junior, so it's great to be up intermediate now with everyone yeah. else around yeah. us. Yeah, and um, what age did you start playing yourself? Um, I don't know, it was about four or five maybe. Four or five, when you picked up the hurley, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thomas, Thomas shoving a, a hurley in <laughs> of your Of course, well, <laughs> yeah. 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 Disappointed you're not playing for Limerick? <laughs> <laughs> yes, the deal with it now, I'm playing with Charlie Willem tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's no uh, choice. Where, um, y- your own favourite position, Fiona, where would you prefer playing? Uh, I don't mind really, anywhere in the forwards. Anywhere in the forwards, yeah. Anywhere you can do a job. I suppose, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Any particular uh, game this year that you, that you liked or you were so proud of or anything like that? Um, I think the Vincent's game, the first time we played him in Grinna, yeah. something just clicked with us all. Like, and even to have the game abandoned after sixty, with sixty sixty second left to go, like, yeah, and we were up yeah. eight points, something just we had to make our break, like, and we did. The yeah. next day we beat them again, like, yeah. so that was just yeah. something that kind of was memorable in my mind. Yeah, very good, very good. Laura, how are you, Laura Dyle? Good, how are good, you? Good, good. Um, daughter of legendary Charleville player Mac Dyle. Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Laura, um, I know. Y- y- your own accomplishments and your your odds on the car panel is that right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Which intermediates this year? I'm delighted to be up with them this year. Yeah, yeah. And any tough games coming up for you, or, or are you already started? Are you training? Are you you know have any games scheduled? Yeah, we played uh, Wexford there two weeks ago, and last weekend we played Kildare. Yeah. And we're training about three times a week as well. So. Yeah. And then we're playing. We we're meant to play Kerry there this weekend, but it was cancelled. Um. Then forfeited out so we're just playing a challenge match now tomorrow instead right it, uh, difficult I suppose with club training and county training to fit it all in yeah it is we train twice during the week 
and then we train at the weekend as well but I come now for travel training as well right yeah and yeah. are you in college at the moment or yeah I'm in college this year in Cork doing nursing right yeah, yeah. so between the, the travelling up and down and, yeah. and for the other stuff as well it's, it's quite taxing yeah it is but yeah yeah. you love doing it so yeah I do you love don't it. Mind it no I don't mind it at all excellent excellent um, Mark, I suppose going forward, like intermediate this year, is there is there ambitions to go to go bigger? Ah, there is. Look, I think that that's always the aim. When you yeah. when you win something, you want to go again, and I think that will be really competitive. We know that it'll be a big step up this year, but I'd say it's a challenge the girls are looking forward to. Right, yeah, and I suppose. No one, no, we are intermediate this year. There's a, a lot of local rivalry going to be this year. Is that right, Fiona? There is, of course, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> would you like to ex- explain, expand this topic? <laughs> There's not much to say. We're there to compete, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. But we have, you have Newtown, Milford, Belly Hay all in the division this year. So, yeah. The fellas said the clash should be flat, or the ash should be flat <laughs> this year. Yeah, yeah. The sea ice was. Yeah, yeah. But that's it. It's going to bring a great kind of, I suppose, occasion to a lot of the games around Lopley this year, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. And you'd know, you'd know a lot of the girls in it as well. Yeah, we you? would. We go to school with some of them yeah. from Newtown and Bally here, so it'll be great this year playing yeah, against yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Anyway, all right. Well, perfect. Thanks very much. Thanks, Thanks lads. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, uh, again, welcome to Charleville GA Club here. I'm standing behind, beside uh, long-serving clubman uh, Jim Callan here, who's absolutely w- without him i don't think this club would be around he's probably held every position in the club in his lifetime jim um i suppose let's go back to the start can you tell us about when you got involved first and h- how that became and what year that was well i arrived in charlotte in 1980 and i didn't get involved until 83 and uh, i think i was registrar in 84 I'm chairman, 85, and the rest is history since. I, I don't think I've missed uh, an officership any, or bar one, maybe. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's, it's been a great great experience and a great time. You've seen, I suppose, Jim, many ups and downs in your time, changes, massive from the 80s to right now where we are. Um, senior club, I mean, it's been a fantastic kind of journey, hasn't it? There's been ups and downs, but we've got where we wanted to be at the end of it. Yeah, I suppose uh, when I got involved first in, in the 80s, the team was old and we, we, la- we last stayed to an Arcock finals prior to winning in 1986. And at that stage, the average age of the team was about 27. So we had to do something. So we started under eight that year. And that's the team that went, went on to win the, the minor county in 1994, which is a significant event for the club. And uh, a lot of those lads went on to, to win several Northcocks in county titles as well. Did you, I suppose we all kind of noticed the discipline in this bunch of lads that have got here, say, back 10 years ago when they came on the scene. They had that just bit of difference about them, that determination, that quality. And I suppose they put their foot to the ground every time they, and they made sure they gave it everything 100% of what they had. That's right, Martin. I suppose the significant win was, was the county junior championship in, in, in tw- uh, 2011. We'd been trying for many years to win that. It was, it was amazing. We'd never won it, having two intermediate counties, but no, no junior county. That was the most significant significant win. And we went on to play in Crow Park that year. And since that time, we've we won three more counties, which is a fantastic achievement for any club at any time. And you've two all Ireland finals thrown in there as well. And we were just unlucky to come out the wrong side of, of both of them. But there are days that club people will never forget, Jim, to have most of the town and the surrounding areas uh, up in Crow Park. It was it was just a proud day for the club, two proud days for the club. Well, I, I've always said, Martin, that getting to Crow Park was, was nearly more important than actually winning it afterwards because when you get there, you experience the whole occasion. We were first and looking at the first day against uh, Bally Raggett from Kilkenny and I suppose we, we made a very good Galway team in the in, in intermediate final in 2018. We were just, they were just too strong for us and and that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. It was great to be there, as I said. It was great to experience being playing in Crow Park. And I suppose going back to the early 2011-ish, uh, having to go back and win an Arcar final. Do you remember that to to get up? I mean, that was one probably one most more stressful than all on a final that day, if I remember correctly. Well, it was because you, everything was at stake. You, you had won a county, but you hadn't won a county yet, and you had to win that. Uh, and fair play to the lads that stood up and, and made sure they won it. I suppose the second. Bizarre occasion was last year in in the, the relegation playoff over in the Fermi. That penalty shootout was the most bizarre moment I ever came across. 
and we were lucky to come out the right side of it. It's as simple as that, you know. We've seen a couple of fantastic penalties won by Dara, but we've seen a couple of beauties as well. I think there's one that barely reached the line, and um, look, I, I, I think the whole town were just, we'll never go through something like that, and we felt so sorry for the boys because to even be in that situation. I suppose the most significant thing that and, and, and Mark is wrong now because Mark's penalty saved us that day. If, if Mark missed that day, I'd say we were in trouble. <laughs> Because it brought it brought us to one hour, like, but if if we missed, we might be talking about seeing the whole. There was only a couple of inches in it, Mark. When it was just the inside of the post, and it was a big gasp. But look, it was still. I I actually first time in my life I felt sorry for somebody that was playing against us. Uh, I don't think I've ever felt that. Um, for, sorry for anyone, but I seen some of the lads crying, and I, it's just an awful way to lose them, isn't it? It was an awful way to lose them. Yeah. It, sh- it shouldn't. It shouldn't have been done that way. No. I think the county board subsequently realised they should have had a replay. Of but that's, well, no, that's no consideration to carry tool now. Oh, well, we don't give a shit anyway, Jim. We're, we're still here. Um, Jim, I suppose, is there any, going back over the years, is there any year that stands out by the current era? Is there any particular year that you thought we had success when you didn't expect it? Because I know there's been counties won football and hold on, we have to mention the football because it's been a big football club uh, over the years as well. That's right, football was always strong here and um, naturally it was always second and sometimes it was in third position but... No, very strong in football as well. Winning a county under 21 there in 2018 was a significant day. And we won two Norcock Juniors, the only two we've ever had in the past two years. So that's, that's significant as well. And they, the footballers have the potential to possibly win a county as well. And I suppose finally, Jim, I suppose looking to the future, um, <coughs> where do you see these lads ending up, the senior hurlers, the footballers? And what's the underage setup like at the moment? Do you see some strong talent coming through with the likes of Darrow that we always spotted from the underage? There is there's a, there's a good stream of players coming through. That, that's hugely significant. If you're a senior club, you have to have people coming through every year because the, the lads at the highest level will will have to give up at some stage. But you need three or four coming through every year. I, th- I think the, the whole juvenile club here is very strong and that's very, very important. Very important going forward as well. Finally, the one we missed out was the year that you remember that we had success going back to the 80s, early 90s. Is there anything that sticks in your head, finally? The Norfolk in 1998. Um, that, that was that minor team coming through and, and we met Jermaine out in Newtown and we were just fierce and lucky to lose that one. That was a significant loss because we didn't win that count until 2001, or the Norfolk until 2001. So if we won in 98, we'd, we could have been more successful quicker. Yeah, that was that was an amazing game actually. Ninety eight, if I remember correctly, it was a fantastic game. Except we were beat by the Huns. Uh, Jim, listen, Jim Callahan, clubman, thank you very much. And now we're joined here by Martin Condon. Martin, um, I suppose we'll go back to the, the beginning. Um, what year did you come to Charleville first, Martin? Uh, Sixty nine. Jesus, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't realise for that long myself. <laughs> Yeah. Jesus, yeah, yeah. 16. And where did you come from originally, Martin? Uh, a village called Ballinacore outside Middleton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, we'll say, had you had you played yourself when you were a young lad? Did you oh, play that? very badly, very yeah, badly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Junior yeah. B. Yeah, yeah. As a fellow said, you tagged out like. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But you had an interest in JS. Oh, ah yeah, yeah, I had. Yeah, I, I was secretary of the club at home oh, yeah, uh, yeah, when yeah. I was seventeen. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And were, were, you, were your family involved in, in the GA as well? Yeah, yeah, they were. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah they were. Yeah, yeah. they were. And did your father play or your brothers play? Or yeah, well, my father was from Klein, but he did. Yeah, he did. He played yeah. when he was young for yeah, yeah, he did, yeah. He must have known Christy ringing all the He, he played with him, actually. Where are they? Mm. Do you know? There's mm. the story. We weren't yeah. expecting to get oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He played <laughs> yeah. the same team as him? Uh, yeah, minor. Yeah, yeah, minor mm. level, yeah, yeah. Yeah, or, yeah. yeah, but... Yeah, was he tasty, yeah. your father? Yeah. No, I wouldn't say so, but he made interest in yeah, yeah, like yeah, again. Yeah, a bit yeah. like myself, now I'd say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slow yeah. to get he to the ball, but he'd be, he'd hang around to do a bit, all right, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So you come on here to Charlotte then in '69, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, uh, did you get involved kind of straight away? Or? No, no. Um, no uh, we were. I was still kind of attached to the club at home, but I used yeah. to be up in the field having a poke around. Yeah. I was in Diggs and Mrs Crowley's down in O'Line, yeah. and uh, great place to stay. It was, but. Yeah. Uh, I used to meet Billy Scanlon a lot down. Billy used to be pulling into me, got told blowing the pumps for, yeah, yeah. and we'd be Billy talking. The taxi man. Billy the taxi man, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, he he was he was a f- good supporter of Charlie, yeah, yeah. and he knew I had a bit of an interest, and uh, he called for me the night of DAGM in 1976. Yeah. And <coughs> I went down with him. Yeah. DAGM. Yeah. It was a Teddy Coyle. He was elected chairman the same night, and. Yeah. Uh, 
you know, I know it kind of took off from there. Kevin Shea was secretary, but Kevin went to England shortly after that, maybe three or four months. Yeah. And there was talk for some fella to do a bit of the secretary work. And, you know, I suppose it, I had a bit of experience at yeah, it. So yeah, I said yeah. I'd give him a hand and yeah, yeah. kind of took off from there then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so that's the way it started, yeah. really. And you mentioned about 70, <coughs> that's probably when I would have met you first around 76. Yeah. There's a bit of... A bit of underage starting to happen around under twelves, like about. Ah, uh, yeah, pre- there was. Now the juvenile club w- w- was was. Um, I, I remember the, the the juvenile club kind of taken taken off, if you like. Yeah. Um, maybe in in that time now, up to eighty, say like. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They, you know, there was a very good juvenile club then for a number of years. Oh, geez, they were they really yeah. were, yeah. But the junior club at the time was the, the was the main club. Like we yeah. were junior hurling, but junior hurling and, and junior football, junior hurling in our cracks at him. <clears throat> it was very competitive and uh, like for my Kildallery, um Mallow probably were intermediate I think uh, but you know most yeah. of the Belly Hay Newtown yeah. they were yeah. all playing junior yeah. then yeah. Yeah. so it was a really competitive right, yeah. um, again like, like it is now trying to get out of junior was always very hard like, absolutely yeah. the hardest county to win yeah. you know yeah. Yeah. absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, I, I, I suppose going back to around that time to 1980 or that way, we, we suppose compared to now, the way the, the games were structured, the way they were run, training, it was a whole, it was a, it was a different game really, I suppose, wasn't it? Ah, Jesus, it was. Yeah, 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 absolutely, yeah. yeah. I had to look t- nowadays. I mean, the, the fitness level that all fellas have now, I'd say uh, the fellas in the 80s would, 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 I mean, they'd be exhausted at the, at the, the, yeah. yeah. the, the pre match thing, yeah. you know, the, yeah. the warm up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd be. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, but as far as the, the game itself, as far as the game that uh, oh, it has evolved. Really remember, like, to only pick it up and hit it. And yeah, it and oh, it's it absolutely. And it's get it's rid of it it, and rid of it. there's yeah. so much science in it now and tactics yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, come back to the, the juvenile stuff. Was, uh, back then, I mean, the, the juvenile there was a lot of um, people involved in it at that time, but there was some great success. I just say uh, at around the 1980, 82 that way with juvenile. I I, 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 I wouldn't have been in, as a, I wouldn't have been involved no, directly with the juvenile yeah, club yeah. party. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but like I would have been aware. Then on was then yeah. then I was a fellow. It was synonymous with the juvenile club. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Pat Shanahan and William McCall, if I say, got very involved around That's that right, time yeah. too. And they were the ones, I suppose. A lot they got the parents to get to get, you know to become involved. Yeah. And it it really yeah. the our juvenile club that I remember now took off really and yeah, was yeah. a very well, probably one of the strongest in the right. division for a good number Likewise, of years yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. Patsy, Patsy. Uh, uh, Patsy Shannon was probably the first man that ever kind of started coaching. Yeah, in and way, yeah, you know? and he came back from he was only back from the states. Like, right, yeah. he was a, an avid GM man, he like was, absolutely yeah. mad he Limerick man as well. But into the training and yeah, he, oh, he did. Done, yeah, you know, rising yeah, and in, uh, yeah, and yeah, and coaching that, and that sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. That's Jerry, right. Jerry O'Connor of the railways when he was. Jerry was one of them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he was. He was kind of the football end of it. All yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember Jerry. All right, he was in, yeah. C in, in the railway station. Yeah, yeah. Um, about your own playing career. Oh. Um, <laughs> a stamp who do that? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but but you did. You played a bit here in Charlotte. I you? played big grade. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah junior, yeah. the old second team. You yeah, know. Yeah, 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 yeah. And <laughs> hurling and football. No, I'd say the fo- I, I think I played a few games of football, right? But yeah. I just be fair in my life, trying to, <laughs> yeah. in case I break my finger when the ball becomes. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I was well behind yeah, it. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was. I football playing now was what, what wouldn't have been my strength, right, like right, you know. Right. No, yeah. and I'm not trying to embarrass you, know, but no. you did win a novice at some stage with Charleville, didn't you? Did you uh, win a novice football at some stage or? Yeah, uh, just uh, I think I might have got a medal anyway. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Uh, 79, uh, 81, yeah, 81. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Pat Hurley he and uh, was midfield with John Lenehan. Tony Butler was captain of that team actually. Uh, I remember it. I remember the team well. Yeah. Just a bit grateful and that. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Remember one day the semi final against. I say we were playing Kilworth. Yeah. Uh, we had to play him above in Kilworth. Yeah. And uh, Mick Steam is for the only fellas in the line. <laughs> and I'd say they'd probably six, 16 <laughs> togged off. And Mick Steam, one of them got injured. And uh, I think I might have togged I might have put on my gear anyway. And uh, in case I was wanted, whoever the sub was, we had went in. But yeah, I, yeah. I didn't have to anyway after. But. We won it by a point, and both Mixie and myself were so delighted. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, we were going into some game from my after that. For, yeah. There was some championship game. I think Belly Hay might have been playing a championship game, and from my, um, that was an eighty. I think that was an eighty one or two. Mm-hmm. But uh, Butler it was Butler's first time playing with us. Now he he yeah. he, he played football before he played hurling. Tony, 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 oh Tony, yeah, yeah, yeah Tony, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, geez, yeah. We, yeah. we always called him Butler. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Um, I suppose from the other side of the map, you've been involved from a sponsorship point, um, which have a GA for many, many, many years now as well, yeah? Yeah, actually, the, the, the in 76, now the other day, I was secretary. Um, my boss at the time was Matt Gilmore. He was the managing director below. And uh, uh, I remember going into him one morning and asking him, would he think of, that the, 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 the club had, I was involved in the club and that the jerseys were very, in an awful state. Yeah. And uh I said, would you would, would he would you get a set of gear? And uh, he said, how, how much is how much are they or whatever? Yeah. And I, th- I said, there's actually two sets of gear we'd want. No, really not. Not we'd want one for the hole and one for the football. Yeah. But anyway, he came down and he bought them. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that was the start of that started, yeah, in '76. Yeah. So yeah. and we're we're sponsored yeah. since. Like yeah, yeah, geez, we are. Yeah, we're yeah. stuck with them since. Yeah. yeah. But you, you mean you've been a massive sponsor for Charles G uh, all down through the years? Ah, sure. Look, I think when you're involved, like. You get something out of it if, if you're. It's not just a question of putting money or anything into yeah. a thing. When you're in it, kind of, you know, when you're immersed in it yourself, yeah. or like so many of the of the club work below, you know, and yeah. and manage the place below, yeah. and yeah. the current managing director was one of the club fellows, James Foley. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's uh, so we were very intertwined with the club, yes, like yes, you yes, know, yeah. yeah it was yeah. it was very much. Yeah. Or or the the office below was probably. You know, a lot of things were trashed out below, and yeah. you know, down there now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did he even speak, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, I don't know about that now. <laughs> I was often accused of it now, but we never did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but I mean, when you're trying to run the club, as well, again, starting from underage all the way through to, to senior now, you know, mm. and Camogie and everything, yeah. but you need you need a big sponsor behind you. Oh, sure, it's a massive help, yeah, yeah of course I mean, it is, yeah. Yeah. Huge, yeah, like. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So and and, and and again, oh, the last ten years it was referred to by Kevin Owens there earlier on. They they've been massive for the club, like. Yeah. And the, the more the more when the club is going well, we get a bit out of it in in terms oh, of publicity, you know, yes, because yeah. uh, Jesus, it's um it's been such a, an incredible yeah. decade for right, yeah. for the club. I yeah. mean, I remember. I remember in the in the maybe in the eighties and nineties and uh, yeah the eighties seventeen and eighties you'd be looking out the the, the gate over you'd be playing a junior league game on a Sunday morning and you might only have thirteen and you'd be looking yeah. out praying who'd be coming next yeah, you know yeah, yeah, I'd yeah, say yeah. I often knocked on your you door to get you out on a Sunday morning <laughs> <laughs> and the boot the boots inside in the bottom of the bags yeah, yeah before, that's like. right yeah <laughs> yeah Jeez, I often remember calling for him no Donald he wouldn't have a boot oh, written but uh, he he'd know I'd have it <laughs> and his poor father would call him out of bed yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yes. I, and I suppose from a business point of view, having an ambassador like Dara here for oh, you know, so local as well. Massive, is massive, yeah, massive yeah, absolutely, yeah, 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 massive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but Martin, it was great talking to you. And, uh, well, you're it's, tough it's been a fantastic club been for what you're are we right? talking? Nearly forty six years yeah. now at this stage. <laughs> around yeah. that, around yeah. that, yeah. yeah. All right. Four, four more years they'll be giving you the, the clock. That's it, party. <laughs> I, I I got a watch actually. I got I got a watch <laughs> from <laughs> I remember one time I, I got a watch from uh, Frank Grady was chairman at the time and yeah. uh at about four o'clock the following morning, I got a phone call. Oh, jeez, I thought the alarm was after going off in the, in the, at, at work. Frank, Martin, what time is it? Good <laughs> luck. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, um, everybody. Welcome to Charleville J A Club here. Um, we're down here on Baker's Road. You all know it. Have a look around. Fantastic spot. Many the odd old drink we had here over the years. Dara, I suppose. First thing I'm going to say, um, just give us a bit of history about when you started playing with Charleville and what year you started and what you did underage over the years? Yeah, um, I started here like everyone else, I suppose, when I was five years of age, um, coming down to Baker's Road here, training every Saturday morning. Um, we're actually, we're, I think that a lot of us in um, the last couple of years, we grew up in a very successful time for Charleville. Um, I think we, we won so many in our corks um, in both hurling and football growing up, but it all started um, down every Saturday morning, uh, just as a young lad playing a bit of ground hurling, um, and we all just loved it. We all just loved meeting up with the with our friends at the weekend and, and uh, having a few games. Yeah. Um, I suppose uh, <laughs> Charleville are fierce proud of you, Dara, that you've progressed your career with us and with Cork. And um, I suppose t- tell us how that happened, how you got to call up for Cork, and what that felt like. Yeah, um, I was just part of uh, many of the Rebel Log uh, squads um, the whole way up from under 14 to 18. Um, and then I broke into the minor team when I was uh, when I was 18. Um, and I got called into the senior team the following year um, under Kieran. Um, uh, myself, Mark Coleman and Shane Kingston uh, came in the following year. We were probably a bit lucky because um, Kieran, Kieran with Shane being the same age as myself, Kieran would have seen a, me playing a good bit. So um, he threw his, he gave me a leap of faith, I suppose. But um, yeah. Uh. 
And um, <clears throat> I suppose with the local rivalry here against Limerick, um, I have to mention the fantastic result she had last Sunday. And um, we're driving into the boys around here, but um, that was a massive performance, Dara, last Sunday, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we needed it. we needed a performance like that more than Limerick after what happened in the All Ireland final last year. And um, we've worked hard through the winter to try and get as close as we can to Limerick. They've been they've been the benchmark for the last couple of years. Um, we're really happy with the performance, but we're playing Galway again tonight. So um, if we don't get a good performance tonight, last weekend's result will be long forgotten. Um, but I'm sure that that'll be a different Limerick team in April, and uh, I'm sure everyone around here is looking forward to it. I suppose to to, to go down the Charleville side of it, Dara. Um You've, since you started with the Char Charver Club, we've had a fantastic few years. I remember you playing underage when I was involved with the club and you just stood out head and shoulders above what was out there. But tell me about, I suppose, winning, getting to Ireland finals and winning counties with, with your own club, which has been fantastic. Yeah, I think um, what we've done last last couple of years with Charleville will mean um, more than anything that you ever do in the county because you're doing what and what all the lads you you grew up with. Um, like I said at the start, um, we we kind of were a group that were kind of were almost used to success because we won almost every North Cork hurling and football growing up. We were such a talented bunch of lads, um, and it's just I suppose it's a testament to the boys and it's a testament to the club that even um, the success we were having underage, it's come through at uh, intermediate and senior level. Level. The last couple of years has been brilliant. Um, we've had to do, we've had to do it the hard way as well, um, going up and going down the last couple of years, and some of it wasn't our fault. But it's just again, it's just a testament to the boys that um, that the attitude they've shown the last couple of years, and it's been great for the local area as well. Is there any? I suppose is there any one game that sticks in your head with the club that does one in my head? But I, I let you talk about what, what was the biggest moment? I think with Charleville playing. Yeah, um, I think the, the Munster final against Fiekel, um in 2018, um, we were just on a bit of a, a momentum roller course, so we used to call it ourselves at the time. We we won, we were winning under 21 footballs, we were winning under, we were winning junior football in our corks, and we were winning the hurling as well. Um, I just remember that game that we went in at half time, and just looking around in the dressing room, none of the boys knew the game was the game was over. I, I don't know what we were down 10 points or something at, at half time. But just none of the boys knew that the knew the game was over. We just we believed in ourselves. We got a bit of luck along the way as well. But um, you know what? We weren't even surprised that we won the game because we were going so well at the time. And it was just it was just a brilliant time for the club and um, that whole that whole journey to Crow Park. And I suppose finally, Dara, I suppose the draw we got this year. To say it's a bit unkind to say the least, but we got the toughest route we probably go. But how do you see the year going this year with the club? Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing we can do but to draw. Um, in my opinion, it's great to be trying to mingle with the best. Um, we're training hard at the moment, and I'm sure once the, I think it'll be July or August we're playing, but we'll be ready. Um, and look, we'll see where we're at. But in my opinion, it's good to be up there playing against the best clubs in Cork. And finally, Dara, on behalf of us, everybody in the club, uh, and myself, we wish you the best of luck with Cork tonight, the rest of the year.